As I record this, it's halftime of Game 1 of the NBA Finals. The Mavericks are getting demolished in Boston. But beyond that, the latest Lakers, L.A., Jeannie Buss doesn't know what she's doing. She used to bang Dennis Rodman. LeBron James is manipulating his way to another uh, playing tournament news is now... My favorite college basketball school, my college team is UConn. My college team has always been UConn. Through the Kemba Walker years, the current times, you know, Drummond, you know, Emeka Okafor, Ben Gordon, you know, what have you. My team. Dan Hurley is the coach of UConn. Dan Hurley is probably the best college basketball coach top three, at the least top three best coaches. And he's pretty much, it's kind of like Kirby Smart at Georgia. You know, they both won, you know, two national titles back to back. You know, they they dominated the the other top coaches and they, they, they dominated. Dominated their conference, division, what have you. And Hurley, much like Kirby Smart, has nothing left to prove in the college game. So now... LeBron James, who cannot handle a masculine man, who cannot handle a man who's going to raise their voice and yell and curse and scream and say what needs to be said, well, now they're going for a coach that does not fit LeBron James. Dan Hurley, hit the like button. Hit the like button on this video. Share this video. Subscribe to this channel. Dan Hurley does not fit LeBron James. LeBron James cannot handle a coach who actually speaks his mind. Dan Hurley is the type of coach, he yells, he screams. Hurley obsesses over the game of basketball. He's the type of coach, he's in his office dressed like Bill Belichick with a sweaty hoodie on. Hurley, he obsesses over the game, the minute details. He will get in your face, he speaks. LeBron James cannot handle a coach like this. LeBron James needs a coach who's submissive, who's quiet. LeBron James needs a coach who's going to, you know, coach the other players, but not him. And Hurley will be another coach that will get blamed when it fails. But the reason LeBron teams fail is because LeBron James. I don't like this, but because, you know, UConn's my team and he's the coach. And, you know, he, he kept the, tr- the tradition of UConn winning and national titles going. So I don't like this, but in the same token, what left does he have to prove in the college game? Now, I'd much rather Hurley go to an NBA team, but even that, I'd rather him stay in college. But this is not the right fit for LeBron James. Now, when you say, well, what coach would be the perfect coach? What coach would be the best coach for LeBron James? It's simple. The best coach for LeBron James is LeBron James. This is the point that's been reached. There are no options. Darvin Ham was someone who could really coach, but Darvin Ham was made to be submissive. If you're going to coach LeBron James, you're not allowed to coach LeBron James. You have to coach the other players. And LeBron will make sure that, you know, the other players blame you too. They said D'Angelo Russell and Anthony Davis, they turned on Darvin Ham in the last two months of the season. Great. Who influenced that? LeBron James. This is a horrible idea for the Lakers. It will not work because Hurley will not be quiet. He will not. He's not going to be a groupie for Raymond James. In fact, I guarantee if if they hire him and the Lakers start the season four and nine, they will fire him in the first month and blame him. And then he'll come back to UConn. He'll come back to college and he'll be successful again. He'll come back and win another national championship. (laughs) There are no options. J.J. Redick is not an option. Why? It's not going to work with him either. The only option to coach LeBron James is LeBron James. Maybe bring in Shannon Sharp. 
He's already courtside at, at, at select Grizzlies games when they play the Lakers. There are no other options. Now, personally, as far as Hurley, I think he would be a great fit, you know. Well, I mean, well, I guess the Knicks have Thibodeau, but, you know, I, I don't want to say the Nets. The Nets are a disaster. You know, certain franchises are just disasters. The Wizards, the Nets, the, the Charlotte Hornets, disasters. But if Hurley, for example, if he went to go coach the Atlanta Hawks, he would be effective. You know, I think if Hurley went to the Blazers, Great hire. I can't stand Chauncey Billups. Fire him. Chauncey Billups has that my sound lip. Pause. Oh, I cannot stand. Cha I, I, I never liked Chauncey Billups. I didn't like him. I didn't like him in the 90s. I didn't like him in 04. I don't like him on the Nuggets the second time. I didn't like using him on NBA 2K on Dreamcast. When he was on the Timberwolves, I always took him out for Terrell Brandon. Terrell Brandon kept his afro tight. And, um, oh, my God. that that You know, those early 2Ks on Dreamcast, I remember, like, 2K, 2K1. Kevin Garnett was, like, unstoppable on them games. Damn. Him and Shaq, you could not stop them. But anyway, this is the latest news. I hope it doesn't happen. If it happens, what I say will happen. And guess what? Let, let, let's say let's say Hurley becomes the coach, and he's a great coach. The problem is not Dan Hurley. Dan Hurley is more than NBA ready. It, like I said, if he went to another franchise with stability, he'd be a great coach. I could see him winning the championship, you know, five, seven years from now, building a franchise. But no coach will fit the Lakers. Not Phil Jackson, not your grandmother, nobody. But let's do a hypothetical. Let's say Hurley does what Frank Vogel does. Let's say the Lakers, they somehow get to the championship and they win it. Guess what? The next year, it'll go right back to the Lakers are 4-12. and The Lakers are 0-8 in the preseason, and they'll fire Hurley. It'll be, well, Hurley won a ring. Well, it was his fault. It's the same rerun when you're dealing with LeBron, Raymond James. It's the same rerun every time. Every time. I think uh, Dan Hurley would be a great coach in New Orleans. Um, he would be a great coach in New Orleans. He he would know how to use Zion. He would know how to use, you know, uh, uh, Valanchunas. And, you know, Jordan Hawkins was, was like the star player from the first championship. Um, not this past year, but the year before. So that would be a great spot for him, New Orleans. Um, but the, the Lakers, is. I don't care what coach you mention. I don't care who you mention. Uh, 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 name a coach. No one's the right choice because LeBron James is to the point where he has to be catered to. And if you don't cater to him, you'll be blamed. You'll be removed. It's everyone else's fault. And he will suck up the air out of everything. And it doesn't matter who the coach is. He's going to force them to draft his son. Now, now they have this latest nonsense of, I, I, I th this is why I don't watch ESPN. This is why I don't follow them. This is why I don't. ESPN had an article a few days ago. There's speculation about Bronny James going with the number one pick. It's like, <sighs> you, it, it's amazing how LeBron James and, and Clutch Sports have this pull on ESPN. They're planting a fake story of Bronny James is, is rumored to be shaking up the draft, and there's a rumor of him going number one. Okay, um, three weeks ago, did he not embarrass himself at the Combine? He had an embarrassing performance. Now, uh, they're saying Bronny might surprisingly, surprisingly, surprise, I can't even say it again. Hit the like button, man. Bronny James might go number one. It just it, the the LeBron James and his team with the fake planet stories. You know, whenever you hear trade rumors, or even even back to the Miami days, you know there are rumors of the Heat are going to fire Eric Spolstra. The Heat were never going to consider that. Those are fake stories LeBron James' team put out. This is that media manipulation, the social media manipulation, his podcast manipulation. Mind the game. Get your ass up out my game. And with that said, I'm up out of here. That is it.